this is unit five. And in this video, we're going to tie a streamer. And a streamer imitates either a little fish that the bigger fish eat, or it imitates a very, very large swimming insect. Um, but this one is going to be primarily a fish one. Uh, what you'll need is the bigger hook that's in your bag. There should be, I think, three or four of these. You'll need some of this red sparkly stuff that's in your bag and some of the white sparkly stuff that's in your bag. It's probably a good idea to get it all together and try to lay it out kind of flat like this as best you can. Okay. So our first step is going to be to put our big hook in our tying vise. We'll take our vise out. We'll kind of stick this in and then turn the bottom. See, so it looks just like that. Make sure it's on there really tight and we'll stick it back into place. Remember, if this is a little loose, just put a little bit of uh, scotch tape on the end or clear tape and it should fit in there snugly. If it's still loose, put another layer of stuff on there. Okay, this is a very easy t fly to tie and uh, it should be done in about one second. So what we're trying to imitate here is just as it shoots by a fish, a fish sees a fish-like something and then jumps at it, okay? So we're just making an illusion. It's not a perfect thing. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start our thread, remember? Just turn it around loosely and then go back over itself a couple times, go back and forth, and eventually, oops, it, won't, it shouldn't do that. Here, I'm gonna move this a little bit. I've got this up a little higher on something so it will not break. So I'm going back and forth over this. See, so it's nice and strong now. And I'm going to take this all the way almost up to the very, very tip. Almost up to the eye. I mean, that's called the eye of the hook. I'm going to get my tag end and I'm going to trim that off. Put, put that away. Now, this is the fun part. This is all there is to this fly. We're going to take a bunch of the red stuff, as much of the red stuff as you can get in your little hands, and we're going to hold it like right in the middle. And we're going to lay that on top of the hook, right where your fingers are going to be, right behind the eye of the hook. See right there? And then I'm going to take my thread, and I'm going to go around it very gently first time, and then pull, and then another time and then get harder and harder and eventually it's going to be kind of like that All right then we're going to take this part that's going forward and we're going to fold this back this is kind of crazy stuff and then we're going to loop over the whole thing the whole tip so we can hold that down and it should make, see, it should go back like that. And that's just folded over right there. Then we're going to get our white stuff. Here we go. However much you have in there. And none of this has to be perfect. Remember, we're making an illusion. And again, we're going to hold this right about in the center. We're going to put this right on top, same place, and we're going to loop this over maybe one or two times, three, four, five times. There we go. We got the same deal going here. I'm going to take this part, fold this back, and wrap it, and wrap it, and wrap it. And then what I'm going to try to do with the black thread is wrap it enough times to where I get a big kind of black head and even work your way back somewhat. Where it's nice and big, you're gonna overlap a lot. So you see how this now has kind of a, a head on it? These parts are kind of coming back. Now we're gonna, all we, we're done. 
except for a couple little things. So we're going to take our knot tying tool. We're going to, just like we did before, push down, wrap around, hold it up there, tighten it down two, three, four, five, let's do six on this one, six, pull it tight so everything's nice and secure, put that back where it belongs, trim this, and that's pretty much your fly there. If you got a couple that are like super long, I like it when it's a little bit jiggly jaggly on the back here. But if you want to, you can take your, bundle them all together and just trim it, usually on an angle. And then that'll make the whole thing a lot smoother. And then when we take it out, there you go, you got a fly. Okay, and that's a, called a streamer. I call that a Christmas streamer because it, these are from Christmas tinsel. And that, that, when it swims through the water, it'll look like it'll pulse and it'll look like a fish. And the fish will grab it. There you go. It's another one, number five.